restaurants. Now we understand about the salinity of the ocean. So why ocean or uh, you know, sea water is uh, salty? So the factors which affect salinity is uh, mainly because of uh, the, you know, these are the four factors, evaporation and precipitation, freezing and thawing of ice in the polar regions, winds, uh, because winds are taking the water, fresh water to the other uh, parts of the you know, uh, sea and uh, ocean currents. So these are the four factors uh, affecting the salinity. But we understand uh, the saline, why it is saline. So usually the rivers are taking out, uh, washing out the rocks having the compound sodium chloride. So and uh, for millions of years, these uh, rivers are carrying that compound and dumping into the seawater. It's not like uh, sea water is uh, got uh, from, uh, from different plates. It's nothing from the land only. The salt got from the land to the sea, not from the sea. But now we are getting the sea water you know, for the source of salt is the sea. But especially this compound is taken and, and carried by the rivers. And also apart from this, there are sea volcanoes which are you know, also affecting the saltic uh, nature of the uh, uh, sea or ocean. So usually we see the average uh, percentage of salinity is 35%. Uh, we call as a PPT is parts per thousand of uh, you know uh, salinity. So uh, you have uh, Baltic Sea and uh, Hudson Sea having 15% uh, of salinity. That means you can drink Baltic Sea water. So this is how we calculate the uh, you know uh, salt uh, uh, nature of the uh, ocean or sea. Yes, students. Now we understand about the ocean temperature. So the temperature varies from minus 2 degrees to 29 degrees centigrade Celsius. So this is mainly the ocean temperature influenced by the latitudes. So as we have learned like equator is the, uh, having the different uh, temperature in the ocean when compared to the polar regions of the uh, ocean. And winds also having the effect in the temperature for the oceans and ocean currents and unequal distribution of land also will affect the or influence the temperature of the ocean and change of also seasons also may uh, you know influence the uh, ocean temperature but it uh, is not a huge uh, variation from the land to the o uh, ocean about the temperature but every single degree will have the different impact on the land for example we have southwest monsoon uh, in india this uh, will affect uh, from the Pacific Ocean El Nino and La Nino's uh, effect that is uh, influenced in, the, in India, uh, you know, these uh, monsoons. So likewise, ocean temperature is, uh, you know, is having the vertical uh, distribution of the temperature. Uh, for example, uh, if you go deeper in the ocean, so it is up to uh, 5 kilometers, the temperature is, uh, you know, uh, changes very drastically. But before and beyond 5 kilometers, it is very steady. You know, just 2 degrees centigrade Celsius, you will find it very steady. So it's, it's not so huge in the differences, you know, you will find in the depth of the sea. Yeah, students, today uh, now we learned about the ocean currents. Ocean currents are nothing but a general movement of water mass uh, to uh, the different directions, uh, maybe from the equator to the polar region or, you know, from polar region to the equator. So this is called the ocean currents. Now, usually we call uh, warm currents, warm ocean currents based on the temperature. So warm ocean currents are mainly the water currents flowing towards polar region from the equator. At the same time, cold uh, ocean currents we have, these cold ocean currents flowing from the polar region towards the equator. So based on the temperature, we call warm ocean currents and cold uh, ocean currents. Again, based on the speed of the ocean current also, we have two types. One is stream ocean currents, which are uh, relatively very speed, and drift uh, ocean currents are a slow, a very slow ocean currents. They follow very, you know, slowly. And uh, 
based on this speed also we have a divided ocean currents into two stream and drift so these ocean currents mainly uh, uh, influenced by these uh, some other factors like centrifugal force centrifugal force at the equator is higher when compared to the polar region so the force is also affecting the your uh, ocean currents effect of wind the wind flow also will affect the ocean currents if for example if the wind flow is 50 uh, miles per hour speed wind is moving and uh, that uh, surface of the water also it will take 0.75 uh, miles per hour so that's the effect of the wind which takes the water flow or you know current of the ocean and uh, also precipitation rainfall at the equator having a greater when compared to the other uh, latitudes or other uh, regions or subtropical and uh, polar regions so at this uh, high rainfall region uh, from the equator either it should go to the north uh, uh, pole or to the south pole so likewise that is distributed so rainfall is also having uh, the, the part in the ocean current and at the same time solar energy as we all know that at the equator solar energy solar rays are more you know uh, that heats uh, these water particles and the water will expand so again this expansion is uh, giving result to the you know the flow from the equator towards the polar regions so and uh, apart from these uh, factors we have like salinity as we have discussed in other classes like in salinity salinity and density of the water also will affect the uh, the current flow the the speed and melting of ice for example in the polar region the melting of ice is not so uh, high when compared to the warmer or tropical tropical regions once if it's melting and the flow of the water is uh, huge then the flow will uh, you know uh, the speed of the current will be more so the melting ice thawing of ice also will affect the ocean current so this is about the ocean currents well, friends as you know that uh, oceans are uh, one of the most important uh, sources uh, for human uh, beings uh, so these resources uh, you know uh, we are depending on the food from the ancient time onwards we depend on the oceans so as you very well know that most of the life on earth is under the sea relatively on the land so uh, so we depend on the ocean for the fishes you know other uh, food uh, uh, like uh, uh, recipes like salt and all and for building material for sand and gravels we get from the uh, oceans and also minerals like chlorine fluorine iodine so these kind of minerals which we uh, you know uh, utilize in the industries are also we get from the oceans and also we generate uh, power through the ocean currents so we are using utilizing this uh, ocean currents for our power generation and also as you very well know that uh, petroleum also major resource for our uh, human being is the ocean floor and gems and pearls transportation and trade so these are the, the useful uh, things that we have uh, utilizing in the oceans since ancient times but one very uh, uh, painful uh, information is that the dumping of this plastics and wastage also affecting our oceans and which is spoiling so for example whales that we used to get whales the huge fishes but now they are all disappearing just because of this kind of uh, water pollution so uh, these are the resources which we get from the oceans and at the same time we have to note that we should not uh, dump the or waste or plastics in the sea